Hello and welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. Our good friend Teddy has invited us to go and visit him at his place of work. So we're going to go and do that. I don't know why I'm walking out the door because, well, we have the power of teleportation, so let's go into town. Right, well, before we do that actually, I do have to issue a slight uh, correction slash apology. Previously I said that somebody's suggestion to me was incorrect. I said that in here, this persona thing, they were wrong. That these little things meant, you know, uh, these did not mean what I thought they meant. I had it the exact opposite way. So these things actually mean that we have the persona. So any without, we do not have the persona. Now you can see why that makes quite a difference because I was doing the exact opposite. So we could have got a lot of different things here. There's also a ton here that we don't have and we could just grab them like this one. Don't want to have it, could just have it. We could just click, done. That's one onto our list. Now they are using obviously a lot of ones that we already have used before, but I'm actually thinking we should, um, yeah, we, we, we should go and create this. What is a Kingu? I, I ask again after having seen it. What is a Kingu? Uh, okay, as long as we don't use Trumpeter, we're fine. Uh, critical hit is cool. Growth 2 is interesting, but not necessary. Counter Strike, Null wins. Null is incredible. Uh, boost and resist are not as. Um, resist physical? Hmm, resist physical sounds cool. I mean, you do have the very powerful wind attack, but I don't really want it. I just want that one. Um, we'll tend to get wind with the persona, I would imagine. Anyway, let's go. So, we have created... What have we created? Oh, God. I am Kingu. Your shield, your sword, your friend. Um, I, I can't help but notice you don't have any arms. How are you going to be our um, shield and our sword? I mean... Our friend, I could kind of understand. Shield and sword, though? Not so much. Null panic? Could be useful. Null poison? Yeah, I think we just fill up Kingu with the nulls, and then we can use them. As in, we can use them as a uh, merger. Let's get rid of... Yeah, moderately restore party HP. Who cares? Like, that's not going to make a difference. We get vicious strike as well, which will probably be his last one, I would imagine. We got Vicious Strike, and we don't know if it's the last one, so that's heavy physical damage. Uh, what's Automat- Uh, okay, so that one's just a really long name. It's Automatic Masuku Kaja, so that is AoE, um, Hit and Evasion. Which is kind of useful, I'll get rid of Evade Fire. Ah, we got Endure- there's Endure as well, which we will also get. I believe if you're rank 10, it seems like you just get all of the, uh, skills. I could be wrong, though. But you tend to get enough XP to get them. Restores 1 HP upon unconscious one time per battle. That is insanely good because if you know there's a battle where you're going to take a, a death, you can use it. I think we get rid of increases user's critical hit rate. Maybe Null Wind would be better, but hey. Kingu is a great one now for us to use as a merger. Like We can give so many good abilities off of that. That's crazy. Okay. Um, let's go read about Kingu. So... Kingu is a relatively high level one as well, right? Uh, yeah. The son and second consort to the female dragon Tiamat. He was to be the leader of the gods, but was killed by Marduk. Mankind was created from his blood. Oh. Okay, cool. Um, it didn't say where in the world that one's from. I thought Tiamat was a, um, Dungeons and Dragons thing, but obviously not. Uh, we can make this one out of a, of a Teoti, Raphael, and a Mother Harlot. We need Raphael and Teoti, so we can't create that one. Th th those are literally the two, and actually, I just looked at it again. Um, yeah, th th this is one we already have. Also, this has a little marker. Oh, it gets a forecast bonus. Oh, okay. What is the forecast bonus for today? Uh, enduring Soul added. I don't know what Enduring Soul is, but, I mean, let's have a look. Do we have one of Horus that we can create? This is one we create out of Kingu, which is nice. Yeah, it uses Devil Lilith, which is fine. We can always recreate it. So it starts with Fully Restores One Ally, the AoE Light, and the AoE Heavy. Okay, sure. Create it. 
Um, I want to pass on. Ailment boost sounds interesting. Have we got anything better? Growth 3 might be worth it if we're going to use it, which we might. Counter Strike. Hmm. Resist physical. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out a purpose for it. Uh, this one's also quite useful to pass along. Hmm. Endure is also quite useful. You know what, get rid of these. I'm going to take Endure. Cool Breeze. Uh, resist Physical is actually just useful, and I'll take that one as well. Right, we're only rank 9, so we should end up with one ability unlearned. That's my theory now. I am Horus. I will go with you to build a brighter future. Alright, cool. So, we get Wind Damp in two levels, but we should get it. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. So Wind Damp, uh, just gonna make our wind better. Not that we necessarily want that. Matarukaja? Can't remember. Freezes party's attack. Uh, unnecessary. We already have it. Absorb wind. Oh, that one's interesting. Uh, we, oh, we didn't actually get to level 73. We got Enduring Soul. What is Enduring Soul? Recall, restores all HP upon unconscious one time per battle. Oh my, that's so much better than Endure. Yeah. That's incredible. Okay. Yeah, I like that one. We, we can keep that one. That's good. Okay, so we got uh, Horus there, who is the Egyptian god of s the sun, I think. Uh, brother to Set. Here's my guessing uh, game there. Is that right? Ancient god of Egypt, whose eyes are the sun and moon, revered by some as the chief god and often depicted as a falk or, or as a hawk or falcon, otherwise, as I'm going to call it, a falk, which was not quite right. Uh, let's have a look. I, I'm curious. Was I right about Horus? Horus, uh, Egyptian sky god. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't sun. That's fine. Uh, Horus, the younger son of Osiris and uh, Isis. And uh, Uncle Set. Okay, sure. Whatever. Close enough. Close enough. Knew it was related. Uh, do we have any others we can create here? Also, where are we looking at? Ooh, we're 66% on our compendium. Right. Have we got any others? Um, We have. I suppose also a time to say I have a little bit of a cold today, so uh, you may occasionally hear the voice uh, crack like it just did there. Apologies. We will... Uh, Endeavor to get that fixed for tomorrow. Uh, like I have any control over it. <clears throat> yes. Uh, Trumpeter, Teoti, and Horus. That seems like a god-awful one to create. Because it gets rid of two of our most... Well, our two most powerful ones. And the tower one, which we need for things. Oh, that's it. This is our list. Oh, okay. Then no. I think we're good. But yeah. Essentially, that is the way to create some new ones. Which we should definitely do at some point. Right, uh, let's drop in a save, and let's go see Teddy and hope that it's voice acted. Cool. Uh, let's leave. Hello, Teddy in Juness. Sup, Ted. Sensei! You came! What I wanted to talk to you about was, um, no, I can't say it here. The mood's all wrong. The best place for what I want to say would be, the ocean! Let's go there, Sensei. Teddy seems to want to go to the ocean. Will you spend the afternoon with Teddy? Sure, why not? Woohoo! Thanks, Sensei. Well then, let's go. Strike while the iron is hot to trot. You decided to go to the ocean with Teddy. Sure. You came to the beach with Teddy. Woohoo! It's so huge, so wide, so salty! Phrasing? Wait! The salt was actually me sweating. It's tough to skate against the wind. Wow! The winter sea is really cool, too. Well, it would be. It's winter. You What, you expected it to be hot? <laughs> Coming here with everyone was fun, but it's exciting to be here alone with you, too. This must be the true charm of the winter sea. 
Teddy is in high spirits. Sensei, over here! Let's do that thing people are supposed to do on the beach and run around in the surf! Sure, Teds. Come on! Try and catch me! You played with Teddy for a while. Sensei, why is the sea so huge? Um, it's so we can play a lot. I see. The sea is nice. Teddy gazes out over the horizon, enraptured by the waves. The sea's sparkly. I didn't know anything about anything until I met you and everyone else. Fun things, feelings that make me want to cry, how the sea is so beautiful. I didn't know anything, and I never thought about wanting to learn either. I can feel all kinds of things in me now. All these feelings created after I met all of you. I think that's my life. It's these different feelings that keep me going. There's still tons of things I don't understand, and I don't know what I'm gonna do from here either. But I've decided that I'm going to do the best with this life that I can. Even though I was scared, I took a step forward and discovered such a wonderful, shiny world. Um, I'm just thinking, right, with this line? Teddy would be technically immortal, right? Well, I don't know. It depends, right? Because he's a shadow, right? So... But shadows are created out of human thought. So unless he's tied to a specific human, which he could potentially be, but probably isn't because he has a persona, then he's... If he's... Well, he's tied to the length of humanity survi humanity's survival or something? Let's not go into it. That's why you too, Sensei... S said... Sensei! <laughs> Teddy is shedding large tears. Because you're going away soon, I want you to know, Sensei. But I felt like if I told you, then you'd leave for good. <laughs> um, I'm trying to figure out exactly what we're replying to. Took a step forward and discovered such a huge sign you Yeah, okay. Um that's all okay. You know what? I think we'll just uh we'll try and calm down. We'll say it's still a long way off. We're not leaving yet. How how long is that in topsicles? If I stop eating them, will it never come? His entire sense of time is generated by the fact that he works to get topsicles, and then the number of topsicles he gets is the time passing. That is crazy. Teddy is sobbing convulsively. <laughs> but I'll be okay. It's sad, but being sad is part of life, too. I've made my decision to stop relying on you so much, Sensei. I will now enter the independent Teddy chapter of my life, so that this time, I can be your sensei. So when are you moving out? Oh, wait, no, we're being nice to Teddy. Teddy smiles cheerfully. Oh, it's, it's digivolving again. Teddy's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. What, what, what? Teddy's persona has been reborn again. Um. Um. Okay. He's some kind of. Mole? Kamui has transfigured into Kamui Moshiri. Kamui Moshiri learned Kamui Miracle. 
anything could happen. Hmm. <sighs> Let me see. I'm thinking about it carefully. We get rid of Auto Rakukaja because Rakukaja is not Marakukaja. So it's only defense for himself, and he has Marakukaja, Mara which he can then cast on everybody. Yes, so we can get rid of this one. I don't know what it is. It could be anything. Wait, is it like Metronome from Pokemon? Is this like a literally it could be anything situation? Holy moly! Something came out! I'm an all new model now! Teddy version 3! Or is it 4? Maybe I should study counting first. Oh, but even though I've entered my independent phase, I'm still gonna have Yosuke take care of me. Of course. I'm not that independent yet. You sense an unchanging, strong bond with Teddy. Also, confirmation that Teddy will be moving out. You and Teddy sit and talk about all kinds of things until the sun begins to set. And the reason I say it's confirmation he'll be moving out is because it says that he... Oh, Sensei's home! Yes, we were both at the same place, Teddy. You shouldn't be so surprised. Being nice to Teddy, gotta get in the right mindset. But yeah, because he was mentioning that he's gonna get Yosuke to take care of him, that means that Teddy would have. Like, the reason he would say that is because um, the social link could be done after this month, I assume. It stopped snowing, right? Leave the laundry to me. I've got a lot of leftover food from June S. The fridge is packed. We can work as a janitor. Not gonna do that. I washed the dishes, Sensei. If it looks like a few are chipped, you're probably seeing things. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll go search for insects. Hold on there, Sensei. It's difficult to go alone. It's dangerous to go alone. Take me. Woohoo! Time to dig. Dig and dig and dig some more. There it is. I found one. Cool. We got we got another cricket, which is cool. Um, I'm gonna save. I'm just thinking about what I want to do now. Uh, we're gonna leave. And we're gonna go. Ooh, I, I, didn't, I forgot that that was there. Uh, we are gonna leave and go to the shopping district to hand the cricket into the lady in the shop. And then we're gonna make some food because we can. Hmm. Uh, talk. Right. Yes. And we got breadcrumbs. Cool. Which is what we expected. I think I'm going to do the food thing, even though it's not optimal. The reason I say it's not optimal... Well, I suppose it doesn't really... I don't know. It's kind of um, six of one, half a dozen of the other. It's not opt op It's not optimal if we fail it, basically. But we could spend time with Naoto... Like, basically, we could spend time with Naoto right now and guarantee a level up with Naoto. Or we can do this and then, like, eat with probably Naoto. And then kind of half guarantee a level up. Anyway. Spend uh, the evening making tomorrow's lunch. Sure, why not? I love that Teddy's just standing here like, What is going on? What are you doing? You look at the leftovers that Teddy brought back from Juness. You have the ingredients to make gyoza. You decided to make gyoza. You season the ground meat and mix in the vegetables. All that's left is to wrap them and pan fry them. Oh yeah, these are like little dumpling things, right? Hold it right there. Cookie needs a pinch of something to enhance its flavors. Let's see, this and this and maybe this. Put in one of these. Teddy hands you a number of ingredients. Which one should you use? Okay. So. Rock candy sounds incorrect. That doesn't sound like that would go with ground beef. Potato chips also. I mean, they could work, but I think olive oil is the obvious choice. You pour olive oil onto the frying pan and cook the gyoza. Suddenly, a savory scent fills the kitchen. It came out perfectly. It looks delicious. Obtained Italian gyoza. Cool. It's great. It's foggy today. Oh no. Lunch break. You brought your lunch today. Will you eat lunch for someone? Who would you like to invite for lunch? Hmm. 
Reese. Ooh, it's a new set. Well, it's not. We saw it at the start of the game, but we haven't used it in a while. Oh, you know what? You probably see this set a lot if you um, if you're in the drama club. Yeah. I so yeah, we also saw this in the uh, where was it? Oh yeah, we saw this with the competition. But yeah, you probably see the set with the drama club a lot more because it's a stage. That would make sense. Anyway, Yasagami High Gym. You ate lunch with Risi. You ate Italian gyoza together. Mmm, this is so good. You're a culinary genius, Alpac Senpai. I've eaten a lot of things working in showbiz, but yours is the best. Thanks for the lunch, Senpai. That hit the spot. Reese enjoyed your lunch. Nice. And I know that the gym is used for basketball as well, but obviously it's a different, like, it's a different part of the gym you see. Right. Save. Uh, let's see who we can speak to today. Um, yeah, I'm also waiting for the next raining day, because the next day it rains is probably the day we're going to go see the fox again. I just don't want to leave it too late, because I know we have to do fishing afterwards, but at the same time, I don't want to waste a day where we can be having, like, a good social link to have a link day with the fox. You get what I'm saying? It's like, this doesn't really add up to me. Because we have rank 9 with the fox already, so we're literally just got rank 10 left to do. Uh, we can go see if Reese is around. Right. And I'm hoping that I got the uh, Reese to max there, so we won't need to do anything else for... Oh, she's not around. Okay, eyes here. Yukiko. Are we ranked 10 with Yukiko? We are. So this is another date, I guess. Another, like, max level one. Oh, Alpax kun Hey! Do you have time later today? It doesn't have to be for too long, but um, I want to spend some time with you. Seems Yukiko wants to talk about something. Of course, let's spend time Thank with Yukiko. You. Samagawa Floodplain. I'm sorry to ask you here so suddenly. It feels a bit awkward going home today. What's wrong? Well... Yukiko seems uncomfortable. It's actually customer's day for me today. Uh-huh, what does that mean? That's a day when the inn's employees take turns being customers. Huh. I guess so that you can see what it's like from the customer's point of view? We've done it every now and then for a while, but I decided to participate this time too. I wanted to see from a customer's point of view if our inn is truly satisfying. So I asked them to sign me up. Well, that's a great thing to do. Y you think so? I was embarrassed. Yukiko is blushing. I played customer once before, too, but it made me a little uncomfortable. It was strange having Mother and everyone say things like, Welcome to me. That's why I wanted to stay out of it a little longer. <laughs> but I brought this on myself. Yukiko is smiling wryly. I told everyone at the inn that I hadn't planned to take over as manager, that I wanted to leave Inaba. I thought it would be me finally coming clean to everyone. But they all just laughed and said they knew already. It made me realize how small I was. But didn't she decide... Hmm. Wait a second, I thought she decided that she was going to stay at the end. I was surrounded by good people, but I didn't understand that at all. I had myself convinced I had to bear my problems alone. I lied to myself, looked away from small opportunities, and only put my efforts into leaving it all behind. But after making so many good friends like you and Chie, I realized something. If I'm going to take one step at a time away from here, every step I use to run will take me somewhere I don't want to be. And if I keep averting my eyes, one day I might find myself blind to everything. When I open my eyes, I see how vast the world is. If I was alone, I think it would be incredibly scary. But fortunately, I'm surrounded by kind, supportive people. 
Now I hope I can grow into someone that can support them in turn. Yukiko is smiling cheerfully. Oh, okay, so she's changing from Amaterasu. Yukiko's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. Amaterasu got longer hair? Uh, Yukiko's persona has been reborn again. Amaterasu has transfigured into Sumio Okami. Sumio Okami learned Burning Petals. Deals severe fire damage to all foes. Okay, so that makes me think that Teddy's is just a random ability button. Um, because this one actually has something written on it. So this is severe to all foes. But it definitely is better than Meechum to all foes. Um, yeah, I guess we'll get rid of that one first. Because it's the weakest option of the list. At least there is a use case for the heavy damage to one foe. Okay. Cool. That is fantastic. My persona? I see. So I can still change. Ever since I fell in love with you, I felt myself changing into someone completely different. I keep finding sides of myself I never noticed before, and I love every one of them. It would make me happy if you did too. Please, continue to stay at my side. There's a level of guilt coming here. You can sense Yukiko's unconditional love. I bet there's one condition in which that love would disappear very quickly, judging by her shrine fortune. You spent time talking about all sorts of things with Yukiko until it became dark out. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Welcome home! Sup, Teddy? You can work as a tutor today? Don't I know it. Hey, Teddy, what's up? I did the laundry, Sensei. My teddy fur shrunk a little in the wash. Uh-huh. Of course. You, you can go every day to search for insects. That is, um... Okay. That's fine. I mean, I guess we'll do that every day then. Uh, anything to eat? Nope. Okay, well, we're going to be a tutor. Let's go, shopping district. Also, Chie didn't come and talk to us about a level 10 thing, but it might be that it staggers them. Uh, either that or Chie doesn't advance anymore, which would seem unlikely. She's a member of our squad. About this. I memorized this formula, but what exactly does it mean in real life? You begin to explain the problem to him in an easily understood manner. Your expression has increased. These equations can be used in a bunch of different situations, huh? The people who come up with them were geniuses. I wish I was a genius. Um, work hard and you can be. Also, I love this, the bottom an answer number three is just, like, that's just completely the wrong thing to say. But I love that he's there. Just give up. Don't even try. You can become a genius through hard work. I thought you had to be born one. Is there not, there's that picture that goes around that you see artists share quite a lot. It's kind of the, the meme, uh, where it's like, how did you get so good at this? You're so talented. And they're like, practice. And then they go, I wish I could do that. Um, but, you know, there's no way I could do it without talent. How about you practice, you know? Ah, well, you know, there's no way that we could ever get this done. Just practice, right? This is kind of the same situation. It's, no. People aren't born geniuses, they just learn and work their way through it. I mean, yes, there, there are people who are naturally more, have a, a natural affinity towards something more than others, but you know, you, you can still make it work. I've already been trying pretty hard in my opinion, and still not enough? Shou thinks to himself. You see, it's, the, it's these uh, millennials here who, uh, well sorry, these not millennials, these, these zoomers here who, uh, don't understand things won't just be handed on a plate immediately. You gotta put work in. See, there, there's me uh, doing the uh, grumpy old man shouts at uh, Cloud. Anyway, I'm sorry. I've been tired all day today. Can we finish the rest of this lesson next time? 
Cho looks pale. Mister! Let's change up the subject to something else. What's up? Um. Which are. Okay. Do we want the most awkward conversation to have with our young tutor? Do we want to have a conversation about what we saw on TV or the other day at school? We don't want to talk about school. He wants to talk about something that isn't school. So it's between TV. You know what? We're, we're going to talk to him about girls because I think this is going to be so awkward. It's going to be good. What I like in a girl is... You told Chu about the kinds of girls you like. You ended up being pretty frank about it. Oh, wow. Your courage has increased. <laughs> that was a bit surprising. <laughs> By which I mean really surprising, actually. Chu laughs. How you liked it? Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like we're already out of time. Thank you very much. Um, I think I was able to relax a little. I'd like to hear some more later. I bet you would. It seems that Sho is opening up to you. Ah, well, yes, now now we're uh, teaching Sho about our ways in the world of uh, navigating the world. And goodbye. We're probably not the best Please role come model. Back again. In fact, we're probably a really bad role model. We're great as a tutor, though, because we can get him rank one in every class. But, you know, role model wise, he shouldn't, he shouldn't be working his uh, life off of us. Let's just go with that. Okay. So, no Yosuke, no Ayani. Yeah, no uh, Ko or Daisuke as well. We got an empty day? Uh, I think I saw Risi. Yeah, I saw Risi. Cool. So, we can't go and speak to the uh, fox. Let's chat. Oh, Senpai! <laughs> Weird that we'd run into each other like this. Yeah. Weird that we'd run into each other at the school that we both attend on a school day. How unusual. Are you bored? Let's go have fun somewhere. Uh, not ready to advance? Wait, did I say not ready to advance? Really? <laughs> I mean, we, we did the meal as well. That's why I'm, I'm like, really not ready to advance? No, Kanji. You know what? This might be an ideal day to, for the fox. This might be a great day to choose Fox, because we don't have an upgrade with uh, Risi. Uh, let me show you the roof. We might have Chia either. No, but we do have... Um, we, do, we do have a snowman. I was trying to think of a good name for him. But he doesn't really look anything like Mr. Moroka, so we couldn't uh, give him a good name. Right. Um, let's see. Ah, that's where Kanji is today. Okay. Uh, shopping District North. Who have we got? We have... So we have Naoki here today, and we also today have... What day is it? It's Friday. We have daycare open today, I suppose. Let me see if daycare really is open today. Oh, um... Yeah, I'll just do this first. Let me see. Juness? We got anybody? We could also shrine. Nah, okay. Oh, wait, it's Adachi. Who's that Juness? Of course he's not going to be there. That was, uh, that's not the best one to check. Right. You can work at the daycare center today. And it will deepen our social link. What is she? Ooh, not that one. But what's it Oh, daycare, Reese, Teddy. Uh, okay, I didn't mean to click that either. This is the one I meant to click. I want to check the social link with, um, with young mother. Temperance. Okay, I don't know if I have a temperance. You could also spend the day with Naoki. I kind of prefer Naoki. I don't. I think the young mother one's gonna be too much of a slow um, boil, basically, for it to uh, for it to be worth doing. But I think that Naoki might actually have enough going on that it might be interesting in the earlier levels. Oh. Uh, we're gonna become closer soon. Okay, I don't have his either. I don't know how I click the wrong button every time for that. Naoki, 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 Naoki. Did I miss him? Oh, wait, he's not called Naoki, he's called, uh, yes, Saki's brother. I love it. The, the, some characters get a name and some are just, oh, they're this person's brother. Whatever. Who cares? Right. Uh, let's head in here. Um, we did see that we couldn't fuse anyone, right? 
Uh, yeah. And we can't fuse the Temperance anyway. Cool. Uh, we might be able to fuse after, although we don't want to fuse it. Yeah, I was thinking we could be, we might be able to fuse after we do this, but then we won't have the Temperance one available, so we don't want to fuse. Uh, let's fuse the level 4 Temperance. That is amazing, yeah. This is a level 4 one to use. Awesome. We'll get a few more of these fusions done um, when we next go into the TV. I suppose we could do now if we wanted to, but um, yeah, probably not. Might be next time we have a major thing we'll do the TV again, although we do have quests as well. I don't know. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Oh, hi. Uh, it's going to become closer. Wait, I didn't say we had the uh, thing. Yeah, I didn't say we had the... Si He's not Temperance. Why did I think he was... He's the Hanged Man. Who's Temperance? Young Mother is Temperance. Alright. Whatever. I guess I'll go get a Hanged Man. That's fine. Just completely lose my mind. Um, right. Apparently can't remember something for 10 seconds. Did I miss it? Or do we not have any? Oh, there we go. It's just called Hanged. Yeah, we'll get Bareth. It's alright. Maybe there is something I can fuse Temperance with. Um. Yeah, there's some I can use Temperance with. But, uh, they're all the wrong ones for us. Temperance Lovers gets just one we already have. Yeah, all of these get bonus today, but... Siegfried's nail. No, no, no. Okay, none of them. That's fine. Okay, cool. I was just seeing if any of them used Temperance and like one other that I didn't care about, but no. I actually don't think there are any I don't care about other than the Temperance one now that I'm again thinking about it, but that's okay. So, Oh. Hello. Now we have the Persona. It means we won't have to do too many more of these. Yes. Sure, it's okay. Naoki looks a bit happier. Central Shopping District, Suzai Daigaku. You came here with Naoki, who has finished helping his parents. Then Masaya made up an excuse for why he was late, and he said, The wind was really strong. The teacher got really pissed. Shut your eyes, all of you, he yelled, and started scolding us. But no one knew why we had to close our eyes, so it was really awkward. After scolding us, he starts class and yells out, Who wants to answer? I know. Messiah, answer the question. Messiah says, I can't see the board with my eyes closed. The teacher <laughs> lost it right there, and class became a free period. Now he is laughing, like he's having a good time. Um, Tell an American joke. Let's go. I want to hear an American joke. You told Naoki an American joke filled with wit. Um, okay, let me let me just, uh, alright, uh, load up the old search engine. We're gonna tell an American joke. An American joke filled with wit. Uh-huh, okay. We're, we're at the uh, top page here. Top page is a PDF document to a, a a university library book. Okay, let's let's try a, a new um one here. Uh, here we go. Uh, let's see. Nope, 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 nope. Um, right. What funny English stories can you tell? Do you not just have the? Nope. That so that one isn't a joke. page. How hard is it to find a joke? 17 jokes that only smart people will really appreciate. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. Okay. Let's go. Um, There we go. A photon is going through... An, it, oh, we put a thing above it. A photon is going through airport security. The TSA agent asks if he has any luggage. The photon says, No, I'm traveling light. <laughs> Ah, uh, you have to have a high IQ to understand that level of joke, so uh, that's the joke we just told Naoki, can, uh, canonically. Uh, was is that it? Uh, was I supposed to laugh there? Sorry, I didn't get that at all. You must have a different sense of humor. 
Now he is impressed. What, that we know an American joke? <laughs> I feel like it's been a while since I left. Naoki's expression looks gentle. That child, remember? The liquor store's... Kunishi-san's son, right? Their daughter was killed. Poor thing. A psychic on TV said their ancestors committed some sin. I heard their store faces the northeast and that's what's bringing in all the bad luck. But that boy looked cheerful. You figure he would be sad. That's pretty cold of him. Siblings close in age aren't that friendly to each other. My son and daughter are. Ugh. Naoki is biting his lip. Let the gossipers gossip. Haters gonna hate. You're right. Why do I care what random pe people think? I know someone understands me, and that's enough. Looks like Naoki cheered up a bit. Those roving eyes are always around somewhere. I'm used to it, though. Seems they're not satisfied unless I look like a victim. That's why it's been so long since I've talked to anyone about stupid things and just laughed. It's fun. Naoki is smiling cheerfully. You feel that your relationship with Naoki has grown still deeper. Fantastic, rank 3. <laughs> I'm sorry, I probably made you feel uneasy, huh? Let's go home. I'll see you again. You parted ways with Naoki and went home. Oh, it's evening time now. Oh, Sensei's home! <laughs> it's time for dinner. Your cooking is so good, I'm gonna get all fat. You can work as a janitor today. I could also not do that. Sup? I'm gonna look after this house for Nana-chan and Pop's sake. I'll guard it with my life. Good, you do that. I'm going out. Oh, uh, wait a second. Nope. I forgot. Yeah, I'll go get an insect. I mean, I guess it's good that we get bugs each day, because it means I can get the crickets that I need for, um... Yeah, I can get the crickets that I need for the thing. Although we didn't get a cricket that time, so we probably don't have one. Uh, anyway, shopping district. Let's see, we got Ayani. And we got... Yo... Kiko. I don't know why I said her name like that. I think it's because I was trying to figure out who exactly it was. Uh, yes, talk. Uh, do we have the thing? Yes. Fantastic. Cool, we can leave again. Right, so, now we've done that. Uh, I think it might be worth spending a day with Ayani, as much as I would usually be against that. Oh, or we can spend time with Yosuke. Sure, let's spend time with Yosuke. It's freezing. Sup, Alpex? Man, am I freezing my ass off these days. It's at times like this when a, uh, like the, it's at times like this when a can of the natural hits the spot. Hey, if you're bored, you want to talk for a bit? Yosuke seems bored. He might appreciate it if you talked with him. Yeah, sure. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Yosuke seems happy. What kept you? So, is Teddy causing you any trouble? I know how he can get into everything. He's had his paws in my stuff all year. He's ruined my manga, broke my consoles. Don't hesitate to tell me if you reach your wit's end. You can return them anytime you want. Um, are you saying you're lonely? <laughs> no way. Well, I do admit that it feels like something's missing whenever that obnoxious um, bear isn't around. Yosuke gives an embarrassed laugh. Oh, a word of advice. Make sure you lock up anything you don't want him finding. Stick it behind a bookshelf or under the bed won't cut it. He'll find that stuff. Your best strategy is to shelter all your personal belongings. Cool. You enjoyed your idle chat with Yosuke. You feel your relationship with Yosuke has grown stronger. And it could become stronger soon. Whoa. Fantastic. Crap, how long have we been talking here? We should both be getting home. Oh yeah, here, have this. I've heard it's pretty good. You can have this. What, a cough drop? Well, I do need it, but, you know. Uh, 
Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way Night. of transferring it out of game into real life, so that's fine. It's Saturday and it's slightly foggy in the evening. Let's get ready for the first lecture of the day. Did you all get to relax during your winter break? I had too much to drink during the New Year's party, so I was hung over all New Year's Day. While we're on the subject of alcoholic beverages, there's something interesting about the toso we drink on New Year's. Who might know this? Oh, Alpax-chan. Toso is a traditional drink for the New Year, but what does that name mean? Appease the demons, bury the demons, fuse the demons. Appease the demons? That's incorrect, but you are below the drinking age, so I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. The toso is symbolic of burying demons. The word toso is made up of two characters, one meaning burial and the other meaning demon. However, no matter what it means, watch out, uh, watch out not to have too much. It is alcoholic after all. People will laugh at you if they hear that you got hung over while trying to perform a good luck ritual. And you'd know that. You, you would definitely have experience with that, I imagine. What will you do today? It's Saturday. Well, let's head out and see what we got going on. Look to the left. Why, why am I even looking to the left? There's never anyone there. Uh, we have Yosuke. Okay. Uh, head downstairs. We have Naoto. We have Risi. Okay, practice building. We probably have Kanji available. Yep, uh, Ruth, we don't have Chie. Oh, we do have Chie. Oh, let's see if she has a level 10. Phew, I'm beat. I actually listened in class today. Sitting next to you makes me want to work hard. <laughs> I hope you feel like working hard when you sit next to me too. Fear type bond with Chie is irreplaceable. Oh, it can't get any closer now. Interesting. We should spend the day with... Naoto, if we can. If we can't, then we want to spend the day with uh, Yosuke. Because we know that uh, we don't have an upgrade with Chie yet. So let's see. Naoto? Uh, we might not have Naoto's social link either, but we'll check. Hello. Ah, do you have time you can spend with me to spare with me today? Naoto has asked you out. Um, there's something I want you to see. Uh, so we don't have the one that we need. Okay, let's head into town. And I will check, like, mere moments before going in, so that I don't get it wrong. Right. Ah, there's Yukiko. Not that we have any time to spend with her anymore. Right. Uh, we're looking at social link. Naoto is here. Fortune. Okay. Fortune. Uh, there were fortunes we could fuse, um, but that would cost us a lot of money, right? As in, on the other side. No, there's no fortunes anymore. I guess we already... Um, Fused it away. Uh, that's fine. Let's have a look. Uh, change to registered. Look for fortune. There aren't that many fortunes we have, like, just as a base, so. That's a cool looking one. Cool. Let's head out here. And we will go over to the school once more. So, back to Yasugami High School. Let's speak to Naoto. Hello. Good day, Alpaxan. Um, yes, let's go. Yes. Naoto looks happy. Samagawa floodplain. Naoto seems to be thinking about something. To tell you the truth, I haven't been in contact with Grandpa lately. That is, a, that is a nice jacket. I approve. I wanted to confirm the items I assume the Phantom Thief stole, but... Our secretary, Yakushi, Yakushiji-san, passed along a message saying he went to visit an ailing friend in America. Since then, I haven't been able to reach either Grandpa or Yakushiji-san's cell phone. Hmm... Well, there's no point in worrying about them now. I'm sure they're fine. On to business. I received a new challenge in the mail today. The card reads as follows. Jury to not rest or route to f or uh, for fable. Minus 40, minus 4. 
Jury to Not Rest or Route for Fable? Uh, minus 40, minus 4. Jury to Not Rest. So the jury. Hmm, okay. Route for Fable. I don't know what the first line is, but I think minus 40, minus 4 coordinates. The sentence is written. The sentence as written is gibberish. Is this part of the riddle? And this, minus 40, minus 4. On its own, it means nothing. Perhaps the minus part is important. Um, It's not a math problem. Subtract 40 and 4? No. Check the other cards again? Yes. I already checked them. The other cards seem to hold no more secrets. Nalto looks troubled. Minus 40, subtract 40? Jury to not rest or route for fable. From there you subtract 40 and 4. Notice the unnatural comma in the phrase. It corresponds to, to the two numbers. Subtract the letters 40 uh, in 40 from the first part and the ones in 4 from the second. What remains is Juness table. Okay, if you say so. Juness table. Let's go. That's it, let's go. Okay. This is why um, you're the detective prince. Juness food court. There was something taped to the underside of the table. I knew it was here. Naoto produces a large ballpoint pen. This is another of the seven detective tools I made. You can use it as a normal pen, but it also has a pen light and a miniature telescope. I had thought I had lost this. I didn't think Grandpa still had it. <laughs> hmm. Neither, neither my grandpa nor myself can stand to throw things away. When this pen was still mine, I was just a child dreaming of becoming a detective. But being a man or a woman, I never thought about it. The lack of peers to compare myself to might have contributed to that. I had no friends. I was quite the outsider then, too. But... Why is it that, compared to the time I spent utterly alone, I worry more now that I'm with you and the others? Because you have something to lose? I feel that I'm undergoing a change. Don't be afraid. I see. I'm afraid, you say. Yeah, it sounds like Naoto, when she was all alone, there's... there's you know, you've got, there's no pressure. There's nothing that, like, the most that can go wrong is something bad happens to you, right? Or, like, that's the most that, like, that's your level. When Once you start let, letting people in, you're opening up. There's, there's a lot more, you gotta be more vulnerable and there's more things that can go wrong. I see. <laughs> now to a smiling weakly. The need to change and a desire to remain the same. They're mixed together. And it scares me. Now to look smaller than ever before. That she would show you the sight of her must be a sign that she's opened her heart to you. Rank 7. Naoto's determination in battle has been enhanced. Can now endure a mortal blow. Nice. Alpexan, have you ever felt like that before? I want to hear about you. I'll see you again. You chatted idly with Naoto, then went home. It's evening time. Welcome home! Hey, Teddy. I am work as a tutor today? No way. Uh, well, what have you been doing? Oh. I hope Yosuke isn't lonely. What if he's calling out for me even as we speak? What if? Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.